Did you know that Akon owned his own diamond mine? I didn't. I just found out and I thought it was incredible. Like, okay, there's more to it. It's not so incredible when you hear the details of, you know, in some places how the diamonds are being exploited and how the locals are being treated, all that. Uh, it's it's a long story if you want us to talk about it maybe some other time we can talk about it but the fact that Akon had his own diamond mine just blew my mind because Akon is involved in a lot of things love him or hate him he definitely goes out there and tries you know now we've talked about him building his own city called Acoin City, I believe, and then the, he'll have his own uh, cryptocurrency called Acoin, and he's also now uh, in talks, or like the Ugandan government gave him land to build a second city in Uganda. Like what? I don't know. I'm impressed. Like I am genuinely impressed. After making a massive splash in the music industry, Akon decided to invest in a new business to generate an extra income. After all, it's good to have fingers in more than one financial pie. So instead of investing in sports or restaurants like other artists, Akon decided to bankroll a working diamond mine in South Africa. So for me, it's not so black and white. You know, some people might call him... Uh, do I want to talk about that right now? So if you want to know what people say about Akon, go to my previous video. I'll try to put it up here or like um, in the description uh, below. I'll put the link. People in the comment section, most of them appreciated him, right? But there were a lot of people that were saying a lot of things about him and they're not, you know, so sure about his intentions who is he getting the six billion from that he's investing in senegal um is he working with the chinese what like how come he's so wealthy like so many things and people are afraid that he's a sellout i don't know about that you know so i'm not gonna speak on that but what i know for sure is he goes out there and and works you know comes up comes up with things and take a leap of faith you have to go and talk to those governments and convince them and get the money from investors and all that takes brains takes skills and he's going out there to do that right so there's something i believe that we can learn from acorn and that is like try to do what you can you know if you have an idea put it on paper and just actually go for it you might fail and a lot of entrepreneurs will tell you this that like they fail but they get up and do it right so i i really appreciate that about him and remember he um was involved in this what is it called like power company where he provided electricity for many african households i mean i appreciate that you guys so I haven't done that so all I can do is well done and in the future I I can take notes and try to do what I can and contribute to my community so anyways guys I thought it was really really interesting that he owned his own diamond mine at some point but he sold it um, he sold it off I'm not sure if he found out that it was done inappropriately like with you know how they exploit people and stuff i don't know if he didn't find it lucrative anymore well i i don't think that's the case because i would assume diamond business is lucrative but when you find one it's mining so i don't know how often they find it how how it's going to be cleared what the quality there are so many things that goes in it but he sold it and i'm sure he sold it for good money yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm sure of that and i suspect he sold that diamond mine for a lot of money so Ekon is doing well I mean and also he's married to an Ethiopian well he has a, a lot of wives um, so one of his wives is Ethiopian so I, I, I think um, he's he's doing okay you let me know down below I mean if you agree disagree just tell me dis respectfully down below and we can talk about it anyways guys thank you for watching if you've watched the video up until this point like the video comment down below let's have a conversation about this I'm on Gilzalala I'm bringing you this story I'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye